G'day guys, here I am down at um, Yarragon. Hang on a sec. Let's try that again. G'day guys, here I am down at Yarragon, which is a little uh, township on the way down to Traralgon. Um, as you know, I'm going to Morwell. Uh, and I left this morning from Warrigal. Uh, I went into a um, car wash and I tried to blast out the tyres but unfortunately it didn't do anything really at all so I'm just leaving it it's not that big of an issue now and I've taken my own advice and I've uh, come before a township uh, let me just flip these just got a couple chicken schnitzels on the go here and uh, Oh yeah, that looks good. And, um, I don't know where you can see that. Sorry, the light's not great. Oh, bloody lovely. Look at that. So, whenever I cook, I, just, I try and always do double. And this is some leftover carbonara. Uh, or Alfredo, but it's now carbonara because I put a bunch of onion and bacon in it. So, yeah, whenever I cook, uh, I try and do double. So, the next day for lunch, or the next day's dinner I don't have to cook and try and um, basically just reheat the food so it's a bit messy at the moment because I've just done a bit of a shopping thing and gas bottles and there's shit everywhere but uh, anyway I'm gonna have a good feed here a good rest and then I'm going to possibly head into Yarragon and do a lap through the township there um, I'll see how I feel because I know if I go in there, uh, I'm going to get mobbed. So I might just keep going, part of me, to Trafalgar, which is about another seven or eight kilometres down the road. Yarragon here from Warrigal was, um, I think, 12 or 13 k's. Um, there's a poor couple in a Tesla with e-bikes on the back of a bike rack. And... Um, they had some mechanical issues with the bike rack and they were stopped in the emergency lane and I had to wait there for 10-15 minutes while they uh, while they fixed it and had my chat to them and stuff. They were a nice couple. Um, hope they get to where they're going without any issues. And um, yeah, so talk to you again after lunch. See ya. Okay, I just had some beautiful chicken schnitzels with carbonara. It's very tasty. Feeling good, feeling good after the feed and now I'll have a proper rest. I'll just let the food digest a little bit. Perhaps in half an hour or an hour, I'll take off again. I'm not gonna stop at Yarragon. Just gonna go straight through to Trafalgar. Um, my mate Trev, who I visited in Cowes the other week, he's also selling my van. He said to give him a call when I reach, to, reach Trafalgar. Apparently there's a Holden Museum there, Holden Car uh, Museum, so I might go in there and have a look at that, and he said he's going to point out some other hot spots that I might like to visit as well, so I'll go and do that in about an hour's time, it's only 7 or 8 k's down the road, and it uh, should only take about an hour, um, as, as long as it's not too hilly. Man, some of the hills... Um, coming here are, are doozies mate and also the ones going downhill I got up to I think it was 54 kilometers an hour down one big hill here um, that was awesome mate but you know whenever I go that speed in that thing I, I keep thinking to myself it's really gonna hurt if I come off or something happens you know and as I was barreling down the hill in in the distance I could see something right well, not right in the middle of the shoulder of the of the shoulder of the, the freeway. It was just up a little bit, and I'm thinking, "Geez, is there enough room to get around this dead wombat?" It was massive. Around the left, or do I have to, you know, turn out into oncoming traffic? Anyway, the closer I got, the I realised that I was going to just sneak through, uh, and I did. Um, and it wasn't much further up from the dead wombat uh, at the top of the hill. See, I come careening down a hill and then went straight straight up a hill as well and that's where the, the people in the Tesla um, had come into some trouble with the, their bike 
uh, bracket. And uh, so I've actually got a bit of technical uh, issues as well. My um, Easy Solar, uh, ch which is a, basically a, a solar charge controller and an inverter, a pure sine wave inverter, all rolled into one. It's a very long and thin system. It's very good. Um, but for some reason, I don't know, the last two days, uh, when I've been riding um, the rig, uh, and charging uh, the e-bike battery at the same time and all the solar goes into the um, semi-trailer battery and then trickles back into the e-bike battery. Now every time that happens for some reason the solar charge controller inside the Easy Solar stops working. Um, this battery should have been at a hundred percent you know even before I rolled into Yarragon because it was only down to 83% um, this morning when I woke up and and it was full sunshine the whole ride here it was I don't know was it an hour and a half two hours or whatever it was to go oh, two hours because I had to stop um, for the Tesla people and you know that was full sun so there's just no way known um, I don't know what I'm saying but it's a bit frustrating so the, how I fix it I've got to rip everything out that's in the way and then I've got to crawl over the Waco, bring the electrical box forward and I've got to stick my hand over the top and down the back, turn the switch off and then back on again and wait here for the click and once that happens it starts working again and it's just really weird because when, when I left this morning everything was working, right? And then I plugged, the, ah, that's what I did, I forgot to do that. When I plugged the um, the e-bike lead into this battery, I forgot to do the trick. So okay, I'll factor that in. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm just going to have rest and uh, head off. And yeah, Ben said he'll be there either Friday or Monday, both days. So that's really good. Um, hopefully, you know, he doesn't find anything wrong. But if he does, hopefully, it, it can be fixed before I take off up the east coast, up through Lakes Entrance and then up through Eden, uh, Marimbula, I stay at Marimbula for a few days, it's a beautiful spot, I'll show you around there and Pambula um, and then onward and upward, I spoke to my sister Belinda last night, she lives in Rose Bay in Sydney and I'll be calling in there to stay with her for a bit um, and then I've got another mate, g'day Trav and uh, up in Cairns, he's offered for me to go and stay there with him for a bit. So when I get up there, of course, that's I'll be doing that. Um, yeah, should be fun. All right, guys, see ya. So here I am down at Trafalgar, and uh, <clears throat> I am at once again at a recreation reserve. Uh, I decided to leave um, Warragul after I tried. Uh, pressure washing the tar out of the tires I felt pretty good um, didn't feel as fatigued uh, as I had at the end of the other day um, so I just thought I had a look on uh, Google Maps and it said Yarragon 13 kilometers and then Trafalgar you know from Warrigal to Trafalgar was 20 and a smudge kilometers and I thought you know what I'm all right I'm gonna do it and then at the halfway mark I've just gone fatigued right out and gone ah uh, maybe I should have stayed <laughs> anyway I'm all right I'm here it's 20 minutes past two in the afternoon on Tuesday something or other something or other January 2022 anyway I'm gonna flip it around and show you where I am yes so there's my little uh, rig and the little trick where you put that in the sun. The batteries are actually nearly charged now. Anyway, after I left, um, where was it, Yarragon, after I had lunch and I realised that the, the solar panel on the roof of the semi-trailer wasn't um, delivering power through the solar charge controller or into the battery. Uh, and that's when I had to pull everything out, turn the switch off on the Easy Solar and turn it back on. Um, the Easy Solar, if you didn't know, is a Victron um, device. And Victron, in my humble opinion, are the best bar none. Their batteries are a bit uh, cliche. Um, 
you know, there's a lot cheaper batteries out there that are as good, if not better, than the Victron ones. I just think that maybe they were doing a, a play on the name and hoping that everyone would just match up everything, Victron, Victron, Victron. But, you know, at the end of the day, when you can find a battery for two-thirds the price of a Victron one, and it does exactly the same thing, you'd be mad to buy a Victron one. So anyway, apart from their batteries, uh, I love Victron stuff and I would highly recommend it to anyone. Um, yeah, so anyway, here we are. Big oval. This is just one of them. There's another, I think, a soccer oval over yonder way. Uh, and yeah, I'm just parked up here. I've got some lime cordial on ice. Lovely. And my iPad and just chilling here in the shade of a gum tree by the look of it. A eucalypt. How lovely. And uh, obviously they do football here and they've got the big lights and um, yeah. So I'm actually going to stay here. The town, there's the, uh, the M1 freeway just through there. You'll see the cars going past there in a second. And um, the town is just in through there. And left, lefty, where's my hand? Lefty, lefty, ah, too big. And lefty is all the shops and service stations and that, but I don't actually need to go there. I am very low on water though, so when I've had a bit of a rest, I'm gonna head over to those buildings over there or that playground and see if there's a tap that I can access the water, which will mean I will not have to go into the town. And I can have a day off from people, um, I was gonna say from people bothering me. It's really not a bother. I just get a bit tired. Uh, and today I'm really fatigued and I could do without a hundred questions. Um, but that could all turn pear-shaped in an instant, mate, because these recreation uh, ovals, as you know, they have either cricket training, footy training, netball training, basketball training, soccer training. There's all sorts of training that goes on at these ovals, mate. And, you know, you could think to yourself, oh, it's going to be a lovely quiet night, and then boom, 50 cars come down and... You're just like, what? <laughs> anyway, it's not a problem. I just hope it doesn't happen to me today because I'm a bit concerned everyone's going to come over and ask a bunch of questions and all I want to do is lie down and go to sleep, man. Anyway, enough rambling from me. Um, if I can think of anything else to say, uh, I'll say it in a minute. All right, guys. See ya. Shower time again. was a very refreshing cold shower and uh, I've just parked it over there it's still in the sun the uh, semi-trailer the living modules battery uh, is fully charged but the e-bike battery was down to about 97 percent because I rode it from Yarragon to here without it um, being trickle charged because uh, I wanted to make sure that during the journey from Yarragon to here that the um, living modules battery was fully charged and it was pretty much fully charged so now it is fully charged so now I've connected up the e-bike battery again to the system and that's probably got maybe half an hour to go and then that'll be fully charged I'm just here in the like it's the pavilion of this recreation uh, facility and over there is where I came in. There's the main entrance over there. Hang on, get it down. Somewhere, yeah. So where that, that 
little building is that's the driveway in there and then I came in and was over at those trees there underneath the shade and I'll probably go back over there later and camp out but I'm just not sure I've lost my bearings in terms of which way the sun's going so that might all be no shade there in another hour so I might just sit here and see what happens and uh, do, do an upload while I'm here and I've got this nice little seat that I'm sitting on it'll come in very handy for doing my uploads all right guys uh, catch you later ciao for now